Welcome to Media Pool, I'm Nature. In this video, actually, I will critically compare and analyze two videos our group made in this semester. The magic word for tomorrow's doctor, clinical skills at the University of Liverpool, and vlog, guess what's under my accommodation. Our group used different strategies when making and promoting these two videos. So this video essay will start from our two different clients and how we use our viral media knowledge to meet their requirements. Also, I will code some theory to explain our video planning, producing and promoting strategies. Last but not least, this video essay will have a reflection on teamwork. The magic word for tomorrow's doctor, clinical skills at the University of Liverpool. It's the video we made for our first client, the Clinical Skill Teaching and Learning Center of University of Liverpool School of Medicine. The client wishes to increase awareness of clinical skill teaching, in particular the learning zone. The facility is currently underused by existing students and there is low awareness of the facility. The client would like to raise awareness of the facility within the existing student's body and more widely. So the target audience of this video including three kinds of people. Firstly, current students. Our clients want to use this video to increase current students' attendance in learning soon. Secondly, prospective future students. For use both online and uh, at future welcome events, to publicize School of Medicine, University of Liverpool, and also general public as an interest piece around how University of Liverpool trains students, doctors, and the sports patients safety during training. Besides, they require for two mandatory elements in this promoting video, voice and images of current students, doctors, Logos of University of Liverpool, School of Medicine, Clinical Skills Teaching and Learning Center. Also, this video should show the school as welcoming, trustworthy, professional, and innovative. So we made this video in accordance to our clients' requirements, which is mainly focusing the learning soon and showing them with the clinical skills and equipments. At the beginning of this video, a student with ordinary clothes walked into the clinical school with curious. He was suddenly absorbed into the magical medicine world, the learning zone behind the school's model's eye. He reached out his finger and touched the image of Samper app on the wall. Every time he touched, the screen changed to the corresponding clinical skills, including a cliff hand washing method protein injection on models' bodies, blood pressure and uh, pulse measurements, and CPR. In the end, the protagonist lived the magical medicine world and was back to reality. He found himself dressed in the professional uniforms of School of Medicine, which implied that he actually became a doctor. But look, guess what's under my accommodation is made for our second client, Friends of Williamson's Turnal, which are a warren or subterranean turnal in the HQ area of Liverpool, constructed by Joseph Williamson between 1805 and his death in 1840. Our client has a short-term wish and a long-term wish, in short term, because the tunnel are in the early stage of development, visits are restricted as the facilities normally available to the tourists are not in place. So their requirements of this video are firstly increase the membership numbers in the UK and uh, internationally. Secondly, make the public aware of the existence of this tunnel. And finally, Enlighten universities, colleges, and uh, schools about the uh, journals serving as a tool for educational purpose. As in the long term, they wish to develop the Williamson's journals as a very attractive tourist destination. So they need to attract investment 
to pay for the proposed development. With considering our client's requirements, we made a fast-paced vlog style, combining some features of documentary films to publicize Williamson's Journal. We don't want to focus on introducing the history of the journal, rather, we want to put emphasis on those interesting things found in the journal. So we divided this video into two parts. In the first part, the vlogger brings the audience to take a view in the Williamson's Tunnels, two main sites and four different levels, including construction site and uh, some items that are digged out from the tunnel. The second part of this video is a short interview of Claire, who is a volunteer of Williamson's Tunnel. The interview is about her volunteer experience and some information about charity groups. Because two clients have different requirements, so the shooting techniques, genre and contagious characteristics are different from one to another. The first video is a non-formal education film. In order to make this video not preach and uh, distinct from those lecture videos school will occasionally make, we decided to use an adventure and fantasy style. By making some special effects to make this video to be more entertaining. And for the second video, we put more documentary film elements with YouTube vlogs together to create a relaxed but reliable video. So during the filming, we use a lot of point of view shots and uh, short reverse shots during introducing the products in the channel. In terms of the contagious characteristics, we use different contagious characteristics for those two videos. The first one are practical value and the social currency. Those clinical skills are mentioned in the video which clearly display of practicing which could provide the audience with adequate information in the short time. People could easily catch the clinical skills knowledge as the video containing close-up and uh, slow motion screens of clinical practice as explanation. According to Berger, people like to help others. So if we can show them how our products or ideas will save time, improving health, or saving money, they will separate the world. Also, the video wants to achieve characteristics of social currency. Like Berger said, most people would rather look smart than dumb, rich than poor, and cool than geeky. Just like the clothes we wear and the cars we drive, what we talk about influences how others see us. It's social currency. The practice made by medical students and uh, medical materials are professional, which may promote people to watch and share the video as it would make them look smart and knowledgeable. The second video we decided to use are characteristics of emotion and the trigger. Firstly, this video was shot as a vlog of international students exploring the journals. Presenters' feeling and reaction will be directly recorded by the camera and passed to the audience. Right emotion often gets shared. The video also wants to achieve characteristic of trigger, which can promote people to think about related themes. Berger suggests that we need to design products and ideas that are frequently triggered by the environment and create new triggers by linking our products and uh, ideas to prevalent cues in that environment. So we decided to do an international student vlog because we think the international presenter of this vlog could increase the possibility of international students to watch and share this video. Meanwhile, in the July 2019, our grade 3 students will attend graduation ceremony with our families. We hope those international students will visit Friends of Williamson Journal will 
with their parents. By following Granovetter's strong and weak tie theory, we choose four platforms to promote our videos. We use Instagram and Twitter as weak ties and Facebook and WeChat as the strong ties. During the promotion of the first video, we put the most emphasis on the WeChat promotion. It received good effects. We received considerable views in the first round promotion with WeChat moments. However, the views per day directly decreased since it made a peak on the 22nd March. Try to make a second peak by another round promoting on WeChat. Well, the problem is WeChat is a typical strong tie which has a strong adhesion of users. Those people who wanted to watch this video had already watched and those who didn't wouldn't see it anyway. So this video stopped separate after the end of the first promotion. Also, another problem is most of the WeChat users are in China where YouTube is blocked and uh, cannot be accessed just like the Facebook and Instagram. So during the promotion period of our second video, we decided to work on weak ties as well as strong ties, Instagram and Twitter. Luckily, our Twitter has posted and uh, retweeted by some key influencers, including the official friends of Williamson's Journal account, their volunteers, and Carrie. Not surprisingly, the reaction of this video is much better than the last one in the first week. During the process of team working, our team did a great progress. Also, we met a lot of problems, but we still overcome those difficulties. I will illustrate Lansony's five dysfunctions fable to analyze our teamwork. The model of pitfall is divided into five parts. Absence of trust, fear of conflict, lack of commitment, avoidance of accountability, and uh, inattention to result. The problem of our group in the first video is obviously almost all the five dysfunctions. First of all, we don't have a proper leader to organize all the steps we should do. When we found the arrangement of tasks cannot meet everyone's desire, some team members might feel upset. However, because we are not so familiar with each other, we have fear of conflict and lack of commitment. The result is the absence of trust and we lost passion on our first video. The quality of our first video did not reach our expectations. Those not successfully teamwork experience encourages us to improve our teamwork. In the producing of second video, some of our team members developed their shared leadership, which made our group much more efficient. So I could put more emphasis on the filming part without considering the stuffs. We were more focusing on the video and every crew member finished their jobs with high quality. Also, we did some attempts on the continuity editing, which was learned in other film analysis modules. As a result, the quality of the second video is much better than the first one. So as a conclusion, we apply step theory strong and weak tie theory, five dysfunctions fable, and a life circle theory in planning, producing, and promoting our two videos. In accordance to our client's different requirements, we apply various shooting techniques, genre, and contextual characteristics. At last, I'd like to say thank you for everyone I met in this module. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, my crew members. And thank you for watching this video. Also, this will be my last video in this channel before my graduation. If you like this video, please like and subscribe it. See you later.